All right, we're going to talk about the three biggest mistakes people make on keto, and these are huge. These are big mistakes, but actually I'm going to double it. I'm going to do three and three. What do I mean by that is there's three big mistakes people make in any transformation and in, in, in health endeavor, and then there's the three mistakes they make specifically on keto, and I think they both apply. Just subscribe below if you want all the updates when we upload the newest videos on keto, health, wellness, vitality. Check it out. Come join us. So the first one is, is expectations. People expect their body to respond a certain way quickly. Um, because for whatever reason, they just think, like, oh, why is it not working for me? Be patient. It took you 20 years to get here. It's going to take some time to undo it. Elevating your ketone levels or getting healthy in general takes time. Your body's trying to rejuvenate itself. It's trying to survive and live and thrive. It doesn't necessarily care about your pant size. It, that, that's irrelevant to the human species as a survival, uh, as, a, as, a, as a, a civilization of reproducing and living an abundance of life. So be patient. Expectations will absolutely murder your results, but also have them, meaning go after them, have goals, have desires to go work towards, but then be patient on, on how quickly it ultimately goes. Okay, that's number one. Number two is the comparison game, comparing yourself to somebody else. It's a big mistake it makes in, in all levels of, of life. You're in a different place. Metabolically, you may be built different. My wife and I are different people. If I ate like my wife, I'd be 300 pounds. We're different. So I can't compare my goal and her journey the same, my results. And I don't care if it's family members. Our daughter and our son are built differently. They will respond differently metabolically. They cannot eat the same way to get the same results. Guaranteed, they're metabolically different. So be careful. Don't just say because your sister did and it doesn't work that way. My brother and I are metabolically different. He's pansy, not very strong. I'm just kidding. He's more built for endurance. I'm built for power. We're built differently. So metabolically, we're going to get responses. So comparison game will be a nightmare for you. And the last thing is toss that damn scale. Get rid of the scale. It is a nightmare. It'll mess you up and it'll put you in a tailspin. The scale is one variable of measurements that will get you results. One. And that's it. You can measure body fat. You can measure, the scale doesn't measure your hair. It doesn't measure your skin. doesn't measure your, your bone density. doesn't measure your muscle mass. doesn't measure how much water you're holding that you have in your system, how much you waste it. Uh, some people go, oh, I lost three pounds. And they just really just peed out three pounds of fluid. It's a variable. So now you're happy, but then you hold the fluid the next day and you're pissed off and you're sad. It doesn't measure if you're, you're holding feces and you're not eliminating effectively through your bowels. It doesn't measure those things, but yet you have an emotional tie to it. So let it go. Measure yourself, weigh yourself once a month and embrace the journey of putting a health plan together to get results. And keto is a great tool for that. But these are the three biggest mistakes people make on keto itself specifically. The number one biggest mistake people do on keto is they're not drinking ketones. They're trying to do the diet perfect. The ketogenic diet is a well-formulated diet. It takes six months to a year to really master that diet. And anybody that tells you that you can do it faster didn't master it yet because the diet is about a continuous process. To get major health goal long-term results, you gotta be on it consistently for a long period of time. It's not something you just do for a weekend or a month or here and there. If you really wanna change your life and get healthier, you wanna continue that journey. So it is god awfully awful hard diet to do so drink your ketones every day. Get ketones in your system so that you can then figure out your diet through the journey. So we can teach people way faster because you already have the ketones elevated. So that's the number one biggest mistake people make is they're not drinking ketones with it. And anybody who wants to come after me on that one, let's go. It's helped very few people over 15 years or help millions of people over five years change their life. Like that, the, the math doesn't make sense. Yes, 15 years I helped 2,000 2, people live better through teaching low carb, keto friendly, keto style lifestyle. And then in five years by just having them drink ketones first, millions of people's lives have changed. It's a simple answer. That is the number one biggest mistake what people are doing trying to do keto. Because most likely you won't stick the diet longer, longer than a year anyway. You're going to revert back to some modification and lose the elevation of ketones, which is the key to the ketones themselves. The second biggest mistake people make on ketones and ketosis is that they don't understand the ratios, you, you, the, 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 the carb, fat, protein ratio, right? And everybody's gonna be a little different. The original ketogenic diet was very, very high, high fat, low, low protein, and almost no carbs at all. But then we have these ratios down below. Everybody's gonna fall into those lines differently. So when you're looking at formulating your own diet, it's a, it's a trial and error to figure out where you're at. Some people start on the high end, high fat first, and then they slowly will increase their protein over time, keeping the carbs low, which I think is a really good way of doing that. The challenge is, is that if you don't metabolize fat very well, it can be really hard on your body. 
to try to break down the fat consumption, gallbladder and everything else, may not be very, very successful on that. Of course, the other rules, the first three rules apply. The last biggest mistake people make on keto is they don't stay hydrated properly. Sodium, 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 but electrolytes in general are all very important. So the amount of sodium or salt that you add to your, and the amount of electrolytes you have to add can be seem to be a lot maybe 5,000 5, to 7,000 milligrams of sodium. And that's a lot of salt. Remember, salt isn't all sodium. There's a lot of other parts of salt. So you may need to consume a lot more saltier things, a salty broth to maintaining the vitality. If you don't, you might feel like crap half the time, even though you're in ketosis. So it's gotta be about formulation. So those are the, really the secrets and the keys of, of the biggest mistakes people make. But it's easy. Solve the problem. Come follow us. Come follow the Keto Pro and we'll take you through a journey, help you find your way. And you probably won't ever have to go to any one of the extremes and get great results, long lasting results and feel better than ever. And that's why we do what we do. We want to help millions of people change their lives, but teach them how to live their life within a diet plan or a nutritional plan that's suitable for you. That's not like anybody else. And the only way to do that is to get into ketosis first using our drink. Second thing is, is to find a lifestyle that you're willing to follow long term that might be low carb vari variables or it might be full blown keto or it might not be at all. If you're a high level athlete, we might keep carbs as a big part of your diet. We'll figure it out as we go, y'all. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Just subscribe below if you want all the updates when we upload the newest videos on keto health, wellness, vitality. Check it out. Come join us.